Hello. This is how Magoni Manne reduced the rate of teenage pregnancy in the Doma. Mr. Rajabu is a charismatic 26 years old man who is passionate about youth development and saving his community in the Doma. The Doma is a growing capital city in Tanzania where carried the significant growth in population, especially young people aged 15 to 24 years. But also the Doma has 39% teenage pregnancy rate. One day, Rajab was visiting a local school to inquire about his young sister's study. Matron, why do you look so concerned? How is my sister? Well, Mr. Rajab, your sister is fine at the moment. But I'm deeply worried about the growing number of unplanned teenage pregnancies. Take, for example, Mary. Mary lived with her widowed mother. They had lost her father when she was very young due to HIV or AIDS detection. Although her family had a very low income, her mother somehow struggled to send Mary to school. She was very smart in school and had a dream of becoming a nurse. Mary's mother asked the bus driver to take her daughter to school and she would pay the fee every month. After a certain period of time, Mary's mother was no longer able to pay the bus fare. The school was too far for Mary to walk. Seeing her Mary dilemma, the bus conductor offered to take her to school and even gave her some pocket money if she had a regular sex with him. A few months later, Mary became pregnant and had to quit school. Where Rajab was leaving the school, he thought, he thought a lot about the increasing problematic situation in the Dodoma region. Thus, young people like Mary will no longer be able to fulfill their dreams. Rajab brought the question that was burning his, in his mind to Doyodo T. And we asked ourselves, how can we better help young women and girls from the Doma region to avoid teenage pregnancy? The next day, when Rajab arrived in, in the office, he was looked much more positive than yesterday. He announced in loud, listen up everyone, I have an idea, and it's called Magoni Mane. Everyone was very, very curious what Mr. Rajab means with a project called Magoni Mane. He explained that the first gown stands for secondary and primary school. Second gown symbolizes high learning graduation gown. The third gown is the wedding gown. And the fourth one, the donate for maternity gown. Magaoni Manne intends to enable adolescent girls to fulfill their dream by completing all levels of education and making informed decisions for their livelihood. Everyone was very happy about the idea. So together the team, we make a plan to visit primary and secondary schools and provide awareness raising education to ensure that young people change their behavior. Together, we reached 20 secondary schools and 15 primary schools. But, but Rajab realized that it wasn't just changing sexual behavior, but we need to provide also comprehensive sexual and productive health education. But we are very thinking how can we do it better if we don't have enough resources, we don't have a capacity and we don't have any internal systems like policies. How can we be trusted by partners? So one day, Mr. Rajabo saw some of opportunity and shared it with us. And that was DSW call for proposal for its Slale project, offering education and mentoring and capacity development, especially on how to conduct advocacy in sexually productive health policies and guidance. So as a team, we applied the call and submitted it to DSW. The day we received an email that a drafting mentoring project we sent to DSW has been accepted. We were very, very happy. And actually, we realized that uh, happiness is not something really made. It comes from your own actions. Three years later, looking back to our experience in the Slale project, we learn so much from family planning, a productive health advocacy concept. We identify various government policies and guidelines that promote family planning and productive health for youth and adolescents. This is because initially, as an organization, we are not so capable in project management skills, specifically in resource mobilization. Through Slale project, we have, we have been empowered in resource mobilization, specifically on how 
to write, to develop a better proposals. And now, Doyodo, we develop more than 15 proposals and two of them we have been awarded to implement some quarterly interventions. Our organization system has now also changed. We have an executive director, programs manager, advocates, officer and other departments. But also we can now implement advoc different advocacy projects like Magun Mane, Girls Empowerment Project. And but also we have uh, organizational policies like resource mobilization strategies, communication strategies, and others. They all do now become more competent and confident in implementing all those advocacy projects. And now we have all to ensure that adult sensitive productive health improved in the Doma city. Magon Mane is the idea that we present to the donors, we present to DSW, and that incur our organization to make this huge progress. And now Magoni Mane ensure that every young person access comprehensive social productive health education and youth friendly services in the dorm. Which means more and more girls have been able to obtain their first, second gown, which is a school uniform and a graduation gown. The organization can now better fulfill our mission.